Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to break down HTML, also known as Hypertext Markup Language. If you're new to web development, HTML is where everything begins. By the end of this video, you'll understand the structure of a web page, the most important building blocks, and how to start writing your own code. What is HTML? So, what exactly is HTML? HTML isn't a programming language, it's a markup language. That means it doesn't run logic like math or conditions. Instead, it describes the structure of your content so browsers know how to display it. Think of HTML as the skeleton of a website. Just like a skeleton gives your body structure, HTML gives structure to your text, images, links, and forms. Then CSS is like the clothing and design, and JavaScript is like the brain that adds interactivity. The anatomy of an HTML document. Every web page you see is built from an HTML document. Let's look at the basic structure. At the very top, we have something called Doctype. It tells the browser, I'm using HTML version 5. Next comes the HTML element, which wraps everything inside the page. Inside it, we split the document into two main parts, the head and the body. The head is like the backstage area of a website. It contains metadata such as the page title, the character encoding, links to CSS files, and sometimes scripts. This isn't usually visible to the visitor, except for the title that shows on the browser tab. The body is where the action happens. Everything you see on the screen, text, images, links, forms, all of that goes inside the body. Common HTML building block. Let's talk about some of the most common tags you'll use every day. Headings. Use H1 to H6. H1 is the main heading, usually one per page. H2 through H6 are subheadings. They help organize your content like chapters in a book. Paragraphs. The paragraph tag creates blocks of text. Browsers automatically add spacing before and after them. Links. The anchor tag creates a hyperlink. You use an attribute called ref, spelled H-R-E-F, to tell the browser where the link goes. Images. The image tag displays pictures. It needs an attribute called source for the file path and another called alt text to describe the image. Alt text is critical for accessibility and also helps search engines. Lists. Four bullet points use the unordered list tag. Four numbered items use the ordered list tag. Each item inside uses the list item tag. Attributes and nesting. Most HTML tags can have attribute. Attributes are like little settings that change how the element behaves. For example, the ref attribute in a link. The source attribute in an image. The ID or class attributes, which help you style or identify elements later. Attributes always go inside the opening tag and are written as name equals value, usually inside quote. Now let's talk about nesting. HTML tags must be properly opened and closed in order. If you open a bold tag and then an italic tag, you must close italic before bold. Think of it like stacking boxes, last opened, first closed. Incorrect nesting can cause strange behavior and even make a page less accessible. Semantic HTML One of the best practices in HTML is using semantic element. Semantic just means meaningful. Instead of using only generic containers called divs everywhere, you can use elements that describe their purpose. For example, Header for the top of a page. Nav for navigation menus. Main for the main content. Article for independent pieces of content like a blog post. Section for grouped content inside a page. And footer for the bottom area with copyright or links. This makes your code easier to read, more accessible for screen readers, and better for search engines to understand. Mini build, profile card. Let's put some of this together with a small example, a profile card. We'll use an article element. Inside it, we'll add an image with alt text. Then a heading 2 for the person's name. 
a short paragraph for the description, and finally a link to contact them. This little block is clean, semantic, and meaningful. And once you style it with CSS, it can look like a professional profile widget. Forms and input. Forms are another core part of HTML. They allow users to send data. A form starts with the form tag, which has an action and a method. Inside, you add label elements connected to input field. For example, you can have a text input for a name, an email input that checks for valid addresses, and a button to submit the form. Using labels correctly is important, because when someone clicks the label, it focuses the input, which is great for usability and accessibility. Accessibility and best practices. Accessibility should always be in your mind when writing HTML. Here are some best practices. Always add alt text to images. Use proper heading order. Don't skip from H1 to H4. Use labels for form controls. Don't rely only on color to show meaning. And make sure all interactive elements like links and buttons can be reached with the keyboard. Following these practices helps not only people with disabilities but also improves SEO and user experience for everyone. Debugging and tools. When something doesn't look right, don't panic. Open your browser's developer tools. You can right-click any element and choose inspect. This shows you the HTML structure and lets you test edits live. You can also use the free W3C validator to check for syntax errors in your code. These tools are lifesavers when debugging. Practice ideas. The best way to learn HTML is through practice. Start with mini projects. Create a personal profile page. Make a blog post layout with headings, paragraphs, and images. Build a product list with bullet points or numbers. Or try coding a contact form. The more you practice, the faster HTML will feel natural. Recap. Let's quickly recap. HTML provides the structure of web pages. Use semantic elements for meaning, attributes for details, and follow accessibility best practices. Then later, you'll bring it to life with CSS and JavaScript. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials. And here's a quick quiz to test yourself. Question 1. Which tag defines the main heading of a page? Question 2. Which attribute is essential for accessibility on an image? The answers are H1 for the main heading and alt text for the image attribute. Great work, now you've got the foundation of HTML. See you in the next video.